Let's talk about the th placement of the thumb on the fingerboard. I use the thumb as an anchor on the side of the fingerboard. In this soft part of the, th the thumb, just above the fingernail. So you don't want to put your fingernail on there. You want to put this soft part of the thumb on the edge of the fingerboard. And this allows me to pivot using my thumb on the fingerboard. It's always lightly pressing against the fingerboard. And that allows me to move from string to string and get a good angle. On each string. I like to think of this motion with the right hand as a wrist motion which carries through to the fingers. Now any of these motions they start with the shoulder and the arm but those are big muscles. The main work comes from this snap that you get on your wrist like that. I often think about this like dribbling a basketball. If I'm dribbling a ball bounce, 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 if I want to dribble the ball faster, bounce, 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 bounce. It's the same motion, only smaller. It's important to get some meat of the finger on the string, but get on the string and off the string as fast as possible. Now, you can play with one finger, index finger. You can play with two fingers together. You'll see bass players doing this. And later on, we'll go into two finger technique, alternating index and middle fingers. But for now, work on just getting a snap with the wrist and following through with the index finger right through the string. This is the technique I use to get a good sound with the right hand, using the wrist motion and snapping through the string. Now here's the disclaimer. If you see 10 different bass players, you'll see 10 different ways of playing the right hand on the double bass. Some people use two fingers, or they use one finger on top of the other, or they'll play sideways on the bass. I like my technique, obviously, and that's what I teach my students. The speed through the string is what determines the big sound. So that's my concept of getting a right hand sound on the double bass.